bring that this to stand. That's fine. All right, you're live now. Is that us? Yeah, you're good. And we're on? Yep. Oh, goody. What? It would almost... Oh, is that, is that pretty what I'm saying? No. Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. Oh, my word. Mm. Peg McCabe says... Is watching. Oh. Can I read those things? Is that what you're reading on them? Yeah. Oh. Sean Smith is watching. Laura Malarkey. Oh, that's a good one. Roger says, any Joe somebody? Says, hi, Karen. Hi, everybody. You know what was extremely funny yesterday? Is there was nobody here on the property. The cameras were out. The... Internet was out. My phone doesn't work too well anyway. Um, there was no one. And there was no communication. I didn't know what was going on with anybody else. And I was very lonely on the whole thing. But then when the cameras came on and I knew at least somebody else was watching, I felt considerably better. So I know what it is to be isolated and then have something like Daily Doggy, which didn't get done today, and, and, and being dependent on communication. I guess that's the word. Because when I was totally isolated, I was not comfortable. All I had was dogs, which is plenty. You know, could have been worse. You could have had no dogs. Now I have, and I have no opening device. Oh, is it? Which is probably in this mess up here. I, I got this all straightened out by moving it all over there. Up there. I don't know. I'll do it, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. I'll use my phone. Mm. How's that? Look at that. This is Equine Rescue Network. Mm. I'll put that up here. Oh. I didn't open an envelope. By God, I'm going to open an envelope. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty picture. That's a pretty picture. Thank you very much. Hi, Janine and crew. Here's this month's donation. Well, isn't that nice? Dee, thank you very much. That is lovely. And a huge help it is. Now, this has got to go in the book that Elizabeth's book. You've got to sit down and bring the book over here because you've got to write it in there. We write everything that comes in in the book, which becomes our source. We don't need her address. Ah. And then we have. Ta -ta -ta -ta, Goldie's Farm. That puppy's not happy. Hopefully he gets worn out pretty soon. No. No. But seeing as he's taken to chewing on wires, he's in jail until we get him straightened out. Okay, and this is another very nice Carlene and crew. Ten henny pennies and a head and hay but ten hay bales. Wonderful. Thank you immensely. You're gonna take that one and write that one in the book too, right? Yep. Thank you very much. And here, here are the advertisements of the day. Bank of America. It's 
for Janine. I can't imagine she needs it. But we better give it to her since yeah. it's addressed to her. And then that's really, really junk. Okay, we don't need those. I didn't even make it in the basket. Okay, what have we got for questions? Did I go to a home today? I did. We went to Gardner. Which is, I think, both nursing and assisted living. I'm really not too sure. But there are two different groups there. One is total Alzheimer, and the other is dependent, something like that. I don't know. And we had with us the neighbor, Debbie, with her daughter, Lynn. And that kid did a good job. She very quickly related to people. Uh, she worked the frying pan. Um, and she did a good job. I was very impressed with her. I have to tell Debbie so when I see her. Debbie, if you're watching, you've done a good one with that one. I'll use her <laughs> anytime. <laughs> they said the dogs really like the deck outside. The deck outside, they love it. <clears throat> and I love it. It really is a good thing. And when we get to get a bucket of water out there that he can play in, it will be wonderful. We don't have it there yet. All he can do is play it with his own water bucket. That's not a good thing. <laughs> he was very popular at the Gardner home today. He picked up, they have a cat, a resident <clears throat> cat, and the cat has chew toys. He found the chew toys for the uh -oh. cat. <laughs> so we played fetch with the cat's toys. It worked very well. People were very happy. Ah. Uh. They said, who was the sender of the honey pennies and hay bales? What's this? Who was the sender of the honey penny and hay bales? Dia Rotten. Um, let's see. When is Gwen coming? Gwen? Yeah. A week from Wednesday. Um. So I better get ready. I know. Ah. <laughs> They were asking how Harley What my mother would say is, she goes through here like a dose of salt. Now, I don't know what a dose of salt does, but I have a feeling it's a lax laxative. Yeah, must be something similar. <laughs> but, yeah. Ah. She goes through here like a dose of salt. So whatever that expression is, that's Gwen. Go ahead. Next problem. They were asking how uh, Harley was doing. Who? Harley. Harley. Harley is the same. I, I'm not in any rush on Harley. Yeah. I, oh, I hope the cameras are working. I think that's why we couldn't unplug this one. Yeah. For some reason it goes through this house. Whatever. They were asking if you're excited about the new puppy. What's this? The new puppy. I'm not getting it. Ah! Turns out, I got all ready and I think um, there's a woman at uh, Meredith. She works with the animals at Meredith. And uh, I guess they lost their dog fairly recently, and I think it was a Rottweiler. So Elizabeth said, you know, we have this puppy. And the woman, I think what's supposed to happen is she's going to take it home and try it on her husband and see what happens. Because the dog really was his dog, and I don't know, it's all confusing, but if if it's going to a good home, wonderful. Go get another one. <laughs> go try for two Danes. I'll go. take two Danes over that one any day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying Noodles must be excited for Wanda to come home. Well, that would be very nice. Might keep them. She's a known quantity, and when you take her to a nursing home, you're fine. The only thing I worry about Wanda is at some point she's going to die on us. I know. She's older. She's, she's, what, 17 years old? And very, very active. Yeah. I just... At any rate, we're worried about that. 
They, they said, what about putting a big blanket over I can't his, hear. What? They said, what about putting a big blanket over his whole crate? For what reason? I, I, maybe I, I put a blanket over the corner because my big dogs, these two dogs, cannot jump up on their bed if this one is standing in that corner barking at him. So I had to cover up the corner so they could get in their own bed. <laughs> I keep wanting to call him Boomer. Uh, I'm having a terrible trouble trying to remember noodles. Um, they said the barn camera is down. Oh, well, that, that's between Nick and Janine and the world. I, I don't understand and, it. And uh, they do know that it's down. We just talked to them. Um, and they were saying the goats decided to push through side of the fence today. When I was down at Finnegan's, I got a phone call, and I come back and fix the gate. They pushed through a little siding part, took themselves for a little ride, walk around. Okay, well, as I said before, if a goat's head fits through the hole, the entire goat will come through the hole. It was the, um, you know those little um, staples? They push, they're old. Oh. And they just pushed through that part. So if the head goes through, the whole goat will fit. Yeah, they yeah they all figured out how to have a little adventure, and then they all came back up except one, and she said she was going to lay in the middle of the road for like ten minutes. <laughs> I cannot understand you. I said that. Go ahead. I hope everybody else did. Uh, let me see. Just... I can almost read what's on the screen here. Almost. Bring them on video. Brenda, somebody's watching. Hi, Brenda. What are you having for dinner? I don't think I'm having dinner. I somehow, I, I didn't get too organized today. But Judy and I had a nasty go around at a Dairy Queen. She bought me a hot dog. She bought it for me. She bought me a hot dog and then a cup of, the biggest cup in the world of, I don't know what it was, peach something. I could not finish it. So I'm fed up for the day anyway. I'm not, not going to starve. And you got your dinner last night. I got my dinner last night. And you got Chinese. Yep. <laughs> yep. Did fine. And I had the Chinese for breakfast. It was fine. There, there are things in there for me to have. There's cr the crackers and cheese, which I like anyway. I haven't eaten through my favorite cheeses yet. <laughs> but pretty soon that'll be gone. I'll have to give that away. <clears throat> mm. It comes in a pack of four kinds, and there's one that's hot, spicy, and I don't like it. That's what I give to you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you don't like spicy food. I don't like spicy cheese. No, I'm, it depends. The spices have to be done with dignity. Jennifer is watching. Hi, Jennifer. Yeah, no packages today. Joy. <clears throat> and there should have been. I know, there was none. I bought myself a pair of sneakers. <clears throat> the cheapest pair of sneakers I could find, $30. I can't believe what they charge for sneakers nowadays. $100 a pair of sneakers. So with a great deal of difficulty, I found a pair for $30, so... I have that because I, this is all I've got are the ones I got on. <laughs> and he's using one of them for a chew toy. <laughs> Do you have um, any visits tomorrow? I don't know. I haven't got to tomorrow yet. Uh, what to say? Tomorrow's the, is it the 24th or no, 25th? 
tomorrow is Wednesday, right? Chelsea, maybe? What? Chelsea? Chelsea? Oh, boy. Chelsea? What's that? Whew. Chelsea's 1,400 miles away. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost to the airport. Yeah. They said, what happened to the red shoes you had? The red tennis ones. The red tennis? I think the red ones you ordered last year. I don't even remember those. Red? Thinkers? They were like a red sneaker you ordered online. Maybe like a Skechers. Uh, I don't understand what you're saying, but I don't remember. They were like a red Skecher. Oh. I don't know. I had Skechers, I know. Red? I don't know. I, I don't know. What size shoe are you? Must have worn them out. What? What size shoe are you? I'm nine and a half. I, I, order, I got a pair coming. I got a pair coming. I should, I should be all right. They're the kind where you don't have to tie. The dog did quiet down, didn't he? He didn't. The dog can be a good dog, but gets himself worked up into a tizzy? My word. <laughs> they said to expect a lot of shoes to come. Oh, no, no, don't give me a whole bunch of shoes now. I just, I just, I, I got one pair. Let's see if the mine fit. Yeah. If they don't fit, then we'll talk about it again. And I only need the cheapest kind. I don't need the $100 running sneakers. Actually, I haven't been on that walking thing today. What time is Elizabeth and Janine expected tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know. You never know. They come as they please. <laughs> well, they have, let's see, the only thing I know about it is that I gave them a, a problem to work over while the two of them were in the car together. And I said, oh, well, you'll have eight hours to work on that. And they, she said, eight hours. She said, we will have a 10-hour trip and an eight-hour trip. So, we don't know. That's when they'll get here. That's when they'll get. And they left, I think, this morning. Oh, wow. And so they're not staying with my relatives in Arlington. Oh. She said she had too many animals on the trailer. Couldn't, she didn't think Debbie could take it. Ah. Debbie. Um, do you need, are you in need of any dog cookies? Dog cookies? Not. At the moment, we have a we have a lot of small ones which I'm using constantly. But I think we're good. I think that cookie thing is full, isn't it? The dog cookie thing. I don't know. I'll have to look. I don't know. <laughs> you want to bring that over? We can show that to everybody. Is it full? <laughs> I think we need. Huh? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. It has to be on camera. Uh, it's halfway full. Oh, halfway full. Okay, this is what we keep our dog cookies in. They'll make it rat proof. And she says it's half full. <laughs> Perfect rat proof containers. The dog food is in three other larger milk containers. Yeah. Yeah. We're pretty good on supplies. I don't think we're out of anything. We have goat supplies. Yeah, we have a yeah. Are they leaving tonight or what? To, are they leaving tonight or tomorrow night? I don't know. I thought they were leaving this morning. Okay, who knows? Yeah, they were going to find a place to stay overnight. It sounded like they knew where they were going. I said, why don't you get a hold of the camera people? We have to have camera people between 
North Carolina in here. So we certainly ought to develop a string of them. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm sure we, <laughs> we could put a whole thing together. I think that's a, uh, about it. I don't know if I can see. That's it? I think so. Yep. I'm, I'm trying to read what's on the screen here. Good night, everyone. That's Robin. Mm -hmm. Hi, Robin. Yep. Yeah. I think that's about it. That's it? Yep. Yeah. Have okay, a, yeah, well, have a good night. Good night. We'll try again tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thanks. I'll try to get the daily doggy yeah. out. I don't know. The one I did get out, 22, there was one that was very, I thought was very funny. Several people have thought it was very funny. <laughs> I forgot what it was about. <laughs> oh, it was about Nick getting stuck with the goats. He got stuck. Did you read that one? No. He went in to take care of the, the pregnant lady, and he gave her some hay and things. He took some hay outside for the outside bunch, and when he did that, one goat came in, and then another goat came in. And then Nick came in, quickly tried, and tried to get the goats out, and that was worth the price of admission. <laughs> He's not a goat chaser at all, but he was funny. It, 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 that was a funny... That was the, I think I sent it out again. At any rate, that's the best I could do. I lost it last night. I don't know what happened to it. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, have a good night. Thanks.